I am Rob from PulpSea.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. We're on location at Beer Moth in Manchester. Got a bottle of uh, Redwood 2014 from Wild Beer Co. in Shepton Mallet. This is a, what, how strong is this? 5.8. 5.8. Um, I guess for me, for style wise, it's kind of like Flemish Red, but what it is, is actually the use of foraged fruits from nearby. And on the, on the label, it says um, sloes, blackberries, elderberries. Um, damsons, rose hips and many others and um, then it's aged in a burgundy red wine barrels, scotch, whiskey and second use modus operandi which is their kind of like bourbon barrel aged yeah. kind of yeah I think that's a sort kind of like Flemish yeah. Eau de Brune, Old Ale kind of crazy thing but yeah something a bit different so See you. You've you've got a bit more. You've got quite a bit of sediment in yours. I have. A bit yeah. Dark, but mine's quite. I say pin bright. I mean, lovely, quite, very red, slightly, kind of mahogany. I guess like a really shiny. Mine's more of a cherry red to it as well. Milky brown, sort of um, borderline pinky red. Yeah. Is it's that no head whatsoever? It's very kind of. As I was gonna suggest, a bit kind of road and background through yours looks, yeah. looks like, and it is very much on those lines. I think anyway. Check out the aroma. It's very road and background crew. Yeah, very. Um, a lot of cherry. Balsamic low, vinegar. Yeah, big time balsamic vinegar. There's a lot of oak in this, actually, to be fair. Yeah, it's well, quite it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a oak-tastic. I mean, it's been, essentially been in three different types of wow, yeah. barrels. So. It and kind of softens out the, the, the yeah. tartness of the balsamic, I guess. Yeah, you're right. And, and that scotch... Is it a scotch whiskey barrel you mentioned? Yeah, I don't know which. Do you, well, I don't do you know what pick time. up that sweetness from the scotch? See, I'm not a big whiskey drinker, so because um, my my dad is, and I do. I, it, it reminds me of that that kind of whiskey kind of dryness, and yeah, almost a touch of vanilla, maybe. Absolutely, but, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and the fruit the fruits that are in there they're quite acidic, but you yeah, and I think you get it is very much more berry, and it's kind of yeah elderberry, which is quite. It's quite a, this is like a sharpness of that and red currant and things like that. Yeah, well, definitely. I'll definitely. Get in. But anyway, let's dive in. Jeez. It's one of those things you can just talk about the aroma forever. It's yeah. just so much. It's so on. complex in the aroma, but I'm presuming the taste is even better. Lovely mouthfeel. Yeah, it's, it's stunning. Wow, that's so. Do you know what? That that is more easy drinking than Grand Cru, and and I was saying to Rob earlier, Rob. Um, just for the benefit of everyone who's watching this, my one of my person, well, my, my favourite Flemish red is Grand Cru, Rome by Grand Cru. I actually find it sessionable, and, and that's saying something for the style because a lot of people find it too sour to session. This one is even, actually, on first impression, is even easier drinking. Yeah, absolutely. It, it softens, it, like you said, it softens up on the back end. There's a, there's more of a a sherbety sharp sweetness to this, yeah. opposed to the kind of like a, a sugary sweetness. Yeah. Not, it's not kind of gloopy or anything, there's an, uh, there's an assertiveness to it. There is the uh, kind of balsamic edge to it, but it's not heavy, it's definitely in there. It's more kind of red wine vinegar for me. Yeah, definitely. In that sense. Um, lots of berry, I mean, it's kind of, yeah, sloes, um, red currant, cranberry, it's all that kind of thing. You know, you do get that, I know I, know I mentioned vanilla in the in the aroma, which is, is it's unexpected for this kind of style, I guess, but on the back end, it does soften out to a nice sweet kind of vanilla essence almost. Not yep. like the, the vanilla cake or anything, but it's definitely got that essence acorns, to it. I'm yeah. thinking acorns. Yeah, I mean. It's, there's a, there's a, a big earthiness to it. It's it, it's lovely stuff, you mean, I'm I think really. really... Like, you, you refer to it as kind of like topsoil. Yeah, uh, yeah, you kind of get that combined with the oak, mm -hmm. maybe. It's stunning. Yeah, that's that's um, that is a really really good take on the side. In fact, do you know if if I had the choice of uh, picking up you know Grand Crew again and, and this, I'd probably pick this up again. Well, it's British. Why not support?